What's going on you guys? Hope everybody's doing well. So I'm getting pretty close to this year's archery elk hunt over the counter tag uh, in Colorado. Starting to get some gear ready, uh, getting my clothes ready, just packing some bags and want to take a little bit of time and go over this new Everly stock. Uh, this is the B4 Atlas. Uh, so far, this thing is pretty badass, uh, pretty sweet. I bought this myself. This is not a free product for review or anything like that, but just uh, super happy with it so far and all the options that it has and figured I'd take a little bit of time and just give you a quick overview. Um, starting here, and I'll give you guys some close-ups here, but starting up front, uh, you got a large compartment zipper here in the middle, and then you've got two slightly smaller ones here on the side. You got some Velcro uh, patch attachments right here, and then you've got some nice molly webbing right here on the front. Uh, it does have two large compression, compression straps that go across the top, just like so. And then you've got uh, the exact same thing on the back side. Flip this around. Notice the same large compartment and then two smaller compartments on each side. And before I forget, I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys, cause it's kind of hidden somewhat. Uh, right here, some nice little zipper. Take that out. You know, notice right here, stowed away, is an attached by Velcro uh, rain cover. I'm not going to put that on, but it does have a rain cover that will encaps encapsulate the whole thing. Keep all your contents dry. Keep your whole bag dry. Pretty nice little built-in feature there. You'll notice this is on wheels, so you can roll it. It has a telescoping hand handle right here. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. And you'll notice right here on the bottom, there is another zipper. Take this. These are all YKK zippers. This is a pretty awesome feature here. Get this zipped open. And this whole thing opens up. I'll show you guys a close up of this. But you can see there that this is all separate from all my clothes are up here in the top portion. So this is all separate from that. And it's got this nice liner and this is removable. Um, you can open this up by this zipper here and store stuff underneath this. But what's nice about this, I'll probably pack some boots in here, throw my dirty clothes in there. Uh, can't quite fit a bow in here, but you could fit like an SBR, anything like that. Pretty nice to keep this compartment away from your dry goods up on top. Thought that was really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this back down. And we'll get in, notice here on the top, it's got this zipper pouch, so you can keep anything that you wanna see visibly. I'm gonna carry my tags in there and then of course put those um, on my person whenever I'm hunting. That's a requirement in Colorado and uh, I would assume everywhere else. Open this up, you'll notice <laughs> all this storage. This thing is a tank. So I went ahead and moved this onto the ground so I could show you kind of how much storage you can fit in this thing. I just have my bino harness thrown in here for right now. Still packing, you know, this isn't the final loadout or anything, but I've got a, a first light catalyst vest in here. Socks, I have plenty more socks to pack, but I'm using those right now just on my rucking, my preparing. Uh, got a Sika Ambient. Got a Sika Fanatic, and I'm way over packed. This is stuff that's all going to stay in the truck except for a little bit of stuff I'll throw in my backpack and then whatever I'm wearing for the day. But uh, being in Colorado, the weather can change in an absolute hurry and want to have, you know, more than I'll ever think I'll need. Uh, a couple Equinox hoodies down here, or uh, excuse me, Core Lightweight hoodies down here. Uh, Kelvin Active Jacket. This over here is kind of more sleeping stuff on this side. This is just a neck gaiter in case it's super cold at night. Um, got some Long Johns here from Sitka. Um, we got the Celsius Midi, that thing is just so comfortable. Figured I'd probably sleep in that some inside my sleeping bag. And then just various pairs of pants over here, some Corgate Foundries, uh, some mountain pants, Traverse, 
and Equinox pants. So that is quite a bit of stuff and I can still fit more gear in here if needed. Comes with two different dividers. I just kind of have it split right down the middle. It adds some kind of rigidity, uh, allows the bag to stand up a little bit better if it's not fully loaded. Uh, on the side here, yeah, right here, got different pairs of gloves stuffed in there. So there's more storage. You can put these dividers anywhere. You can see all the Velcro. This is all hook and loop Velcro. You can actually use that as Molly, put more stuff if you need to. Like I mentioned, it does have the telescoping handle on it, but it also has these two handles on each end. So if you're, you know, trying to get it out of a truck bed or loading it into a truck bed easily or getting out of the back of the truck, you know, you can grab both of these really easy to maneuver, but this is nice. This will be nice for even vacations with the family, fit everybody's clothes in here, however you want to do it. But that telescopes, and you can roll it around. Just super awesome, Super going to be super handy. Really looking forward to using this. And uh, just want to give you guys a quick overview of it. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. A little more than 20 days away for elk hunting, and uh, I can't wait. So. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.